Hi friends, how are you? I am Muhammad Leon from Leon's Midi. Welcome to Leon's Midi after a couple of weeks. In this tutorial, I will show you how to do mail merge in MS Word. Uh, what is mail merge actually? Mail merge is actually uh, sending multiple letters to multiple recipients at the same time. That is actually mail merge. Okay. For doing mail merge, we need two things actually. The first one is generic letter. That letter will be sent via email or you can print that letter. And the second one is source data. Okay. Another one is you have to be locked in in Outlook just because of your mail will be sent from Outlook to different mail. Okay. And before starting the video, I'm requesting you if you are new to my YouTube channel, please do subscribe. I make videos on technology and now at this moment, MS Word series is going on. Okay. So let's get started. So this is my uh, simple generic letter. Uh, it could be a appointment letter or it could be a offer letter. Okay, so uh, the first one is date and here there will be address, first name, last name, contact. Okay, this is subject and mister or mistress. After that, there will be name. Okay, so that is why I kept this place blank. This one also blank. Okay. This is the mail body and this is the last part of mail. Okay, so now I'm showing you the source data. So this is my source data. Here I have actually one, two, three, four, five, five fields. The first one is first name, then last name, address, contact number, email. Okay, so here I have actually one, two, three, four, five, five recipients. When I will mail merge, then five mails will be sent to this five different recipients at the same time okay from my outlook account to their respective email address okay this is the whole thing actually so let's get started mail marching okay so for doing mail merge click on mailings from here start mail merge okay uh, here are different way letters email message envelope level directory normal word uh, document normal word document and step by step mail merge wider we will do for step by step mail merge wider okay after that select document type letters email message envelope labels directory we will select for letter okay letters is by default selected okay then here I have actually six steps now at this moment we are on step one okay so next document then select starting document Use the current document, start from a template, start from existing document, use the current document. That means we will use this current document, okay? Okay, then select recipients, select recipients, use an existing list, select from Outlook contacts, type a new list, use an existing list, then browse. So we have to select our source data, my source data is in desktop and this one is my source data okay then I'll open uh, here I have actually one sheet if there is multiple sheet multiple uh, sheet will be shown here in my case there is only one sheet so there is that sheet okay uh, so here is asking me first row of data contains column header okay see first row of data this is the first row of data there have column header yes there have column header so I'll click on okay uh, this is the five recipients actually one two three four five if you send mail to all the recipients then you don't have to do anything just because of by default all options are selected okay if you want to send mail to a particular user then you can select particular user and you can deselect other okay i'm selecting all of the recipients okay then you can uh, refine recipient list by sorting filtering find duplicates find recipient validate address okay there are different options i am going to uh, show you very simply okay you don't have to do anything just click on okay now at this moment our generic data and source data are connected and now at this moment we have to place the fields of source data into the generic letter okay so let's do it i am taking my mouse pointer here so from here click on insert mail merge field first field will be first name okay then space then again insert merge field last name okay so i'll be going to the next next line here i'll place the address actually insert merge field address okay i'll be going to the next line and here there will be contact number okay so placing field actually uh, depends on your wish 
the way you place the fields the way you select okay so uh, first thing is first name then last name address contact number then mr or mistress here i will place their again first name and last name okay so i'm going to insert merge mail first name s space insert merge mail last name okay then this is the body and this is the last part of this letter so i am done actually now at this moment i'll go to the next step okay then write your letter step four of six then preview your letter so preview your letter so see so see this is the actual letter first one is date then first name last name this is the address this is their contact number this is subject mr or mistress then again their first name and last name this is the body this is the last part okay in this way their letter will be sent to their respective mail okay so this is actually recipient 5 if you uh, click on here you can see the recipient 4 recipient 3 recipient 2 recipient 1 okay in this way letter will be sent via mail okay then complete the march you can print this individual five letters uh, i'm not going to print send these letters via mail okay so finish and merge edit individual documents print documents send email message so select send email message to there are different option first name last name address contact number email so definitely we will send to email subject line so subject line should be appointment letter for the post of assistant engineer electrical electrical so you will give such a subject line according to your needs okay then mail format uh, there have different mail format attachment plain text html in our case there should be html send records all current record from from you can select here uh, from uh, one to from two from two to three but since we want to send this letter via mail to every recipient so we don't have to do anything we have to select all and all is by default selected okay then just click on ok see what happened these data are changing that means letters have been sent to the mails from our outlook account okay outlook is by default connected to ms office so so everything has been done so let's check it whether our mails have been sent or not i'm going to outlook from here sent items see one two three four five seven fifty eight am that means all the five mails have been sent from this outlook account to this respective mails okay at the same time 758 am 758 am 758 am and 758 am okay so so hopefully you have understood all the things from start to finish so yeah that's it if you have any query just do comment in the comment section i'll try to reply and thanks for watching hopefully you like this video if you do give a huge thumbs up share this content with your community thanks for watching see you in the very next tutorial till then take care